Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. In the last video you installed Angular, well, Angular CLI, and you also saw what different commands Angular CLI supports, so you could use those. So in this video we will use one of those commands to generate our Angular project, and also, well, we will go manually through the project itself to see what Angular will generate for us. One thing before we start, don't forget to subscribe, as on my channel you can expect new videos uh, each week. So if the web development is something that you are interested in, well, you can expect much more videos about it from me. So as I mentioned, we will generate our own first Angular project in this video. To generate our project, we will once again use this ng command, which is the command available to us through Angular CLI. And next to that, we can use new keyword to create something new. Well, here we are referring to our application. The next thing that we should pass is our name for the application. So for us, I will just name this Angular Material Tutorial. And that's a solid name. There are few questions that Angular CLI will now ask us. For example, would we like to use Angular routing? So I will go no to this because we won't set up routing through CLI. We will do that manually later when we come to that stage in this course. Also, there is a question related to the which uh, style sheet format we would like to use. So here I will just go with the CSS, well, a default one. So each of you could uh, follow up with this course uh, more easily. Now Angular will install all of the necessary packages for us and we will be able to start with, well, our project. Once Angular CLI is finished and our project is generated, I will first of all use command of clear to clear my terminal here. And now we can use cd command to route ourselves into our project. So here, Angular material tutorial. This is the name of our Angular project. So now we are in it. Once we are in our Angular project, we are able also to run our local host. So for that, we can use a command called ng-serve to serve our Angular project, well, Angular application. And if you would also like, you could pass this flag of open, which will automatically open your Angular project on your local host once the command is finished. So hit enter here and just wait a bit for everything to be, well, in initialized. So if you did everything, as I mentioned, through this video, you should be automatically redirected to localhost 4200 on your browser. So here what we can see is just the default project from Angular. When Angular CLI uh, generates the Angular project, it will also add this default code for us. In this code, you can also find some social links like to Twitter and YouTube channel of Angular. You can also uh, find links to, well, different CLI documentation to also to learn Angular through the, do, through the documentation and Angular blog as well. Down below, you can also uh, see some of the commands that Angular CLI is able to run, for example, to generate a new component, to add a material to our project and so on. We will see all of those a bit manually later when we start working with those. But for now, let's also go into our code and talk a bit about our code that was, well, automatically generated for us. So I opened my Angular project in uh, my preferred uh, code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. And here on the left side, we can see all of the files that were generated from Angular CLI. For example, we can see this package.json file, which will hold everything about our project, our scripts that we are able to use through Angular itself, and also different dependencies that are automatically installed with the Angular project. Next to that, we can see this Angular JSON file, which is just the setup and, uh, well, the schema of our setup for our Angular application. So closing both of these, we can see our SRC folder, which is our main source folder to our source files of this project. In that, first of all, what we can see is this main.ts file, which is main TypeScript file that Angular serves. Main TypeScript file is used to, well, generate Angular application and also pass the code later to be compiled into JavaScript. As you know, the Angular itself is a JavaScript framework. So there is few things that we can see here. For example, we can see this app module import for this app module, which is basically main module of our Angular application. And whatever is this uh, app module will uh, at the end be converted into JavaScript code. And you can see uh, by this here, we are using the bootstrap module, which will use this app module to generate the JavaScript application from our Angular code. So talking about the application, we also have this app folder, which will hold all of our application files. For example, by default, Angular will generate this app component.html, app component.css, and app component.typescript file. Next to that, we also can see this 
app component that spec file which is the testing file for our component and yes angular by default will also generate all of those testing files for our components uh, and services as well in this html file what you will see is the starting code from angular application which is the code that you took a look before so this application we won't bother a lot with this code because we will well later remove it fully because we don't really need it but as you can see the component itself will hold three different files like html css and the typescript file so creating a component means that we will create the markup styling and also a functionality if it's needed for that component as well so if you would go to the app component typescript file here is the component itself how it's set up so first of all you can see that it, it uses this component decorator which will decorate this entire file to be used as a component you can see the selector itself which is app root which means if you would open your index.html file, here you would see this app root. So basically, entire component is linked and shared into this index.html file, which will at the end render our entire application. So all of the components at the end should be rendered in our app component HTML, which will be rendered in our index.html. And when the code is compiled into JavaScript, it will be served as a JavaScript application. Next to that, you can see this template URL, which is our HTML app component.html file, which basically means that this file will be used as a template for this component. And same goes for the, our style URLs. We could have multiple style URLs, but by default, Angular will generate only one, which is in this example app component CSS file. So the last thing here is to go to our app module itself. And here we can see that this app component must be imported and it will be imported in our declarations array. Declarations array should hold all of the components that we have, and by holding those in declarations array, those will be at the end exported as a JavaScript code. Same goes for our imports, which are mostly our modules, providers, which are mostly our services, and in this bootstrap, well, is basically we pass there whatever we wish to at the end be bootstrapped and compiled into JavaScript. So this is a quick and simple setup of Angular application, but as this series this course is about angular material so in the next video we will then add angular material into our angular application and we will explore a bit of that as well so guys thank you all for watching if you liked what you saw please click like and subscribe as i'm posting new content weekly thank you once again and i will see you in my next video bye bye